This is, we'll try to show you some of the stuff that we do when we fence with uh, shield and spear. And uh, we do this mostly in, in the Viking reenactment where we have a limited target area. But since it's only the tip, only the point that counts as a, as a hit, we need to be very controlled and focused anyway because uh, we can't just do slapping and all the... There's no dirty tricks, this is... It pretty much goes, if it goes. Uh, also, the target area that we usually use is only like a swimsuit uh, size. It's not arms, legs, feet or head. And you could argue that that would change a whole lot of things, but if you just look at a stance that we try to adopt, uh, the, the, the similar stance to what we do with Son Buckler, it really doesn't matter that much with the feet, and uh, the head is mostly covered when you use the uh, fencing with the shield. Most of the fencing that we do, we do that with the shield, because uh, obviously we don't have... This is a huge lever, so you can do something, but it's not much. I mean, the, Rasmus has the same lever that I do, so if I just rest my, my spear on his, he can't move mine. So all the same things apply that applies to the single sword, the single handed sword, apply to this, it's just much longer lever. And this also means that we easily, uh, easier get caught, so if we thrust past, we, would, we can easily, I mean, you can clear the point. So this way that you can actually catch someone and then he would need to recover uh, and that means pulling back a whole lot so um, this is the the, the place where it reminds us mostly of uh, Sword and Buckler and a huge inspirational point from Sword and Buckler is the recovery from being caught doing the nuken from uh, Mutasu Gladi I don't know if that makes sense but if uh, let's just pretend this is Swords and Buckler right so from here, and I do the nuke, and he catches my like this, right? This is this is a common situation, getting caught with the spear. Not like this, but it's common that we get caught. And what we do is we wipe off the spear with the shield. So we take over the bind with the with the shield to proceed uh, attacking with the with the spear. So I think we should just try and uh, uh, move. Now we'll try and do it with the limited target area first. And then we can try and do it with the masks afterwards. I would not recommend for anyone who's not done this a lot to do this with steel tips on masks because um, there's a lot of force and a lot of pressure because the point is small. Um, some do it with rubber tips, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's a better idea to get control. Okay, let's go. Looks quite phys uh, physically quite demanding. Yes, like you is. need to be really fit. It probably uh, doesn't help that I was holding my breath. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, should we try to put a mask? Yeah. So, with the mask, we'll just start slow and then pick it up a little bit.
Can you show the same thing from the other side, please? So that's just the pursuit. And uh, what you would often do is, uh, is use uh, the movement lever of the arm to get it in there. So you might just flip it up, and you might just also flip the spear in. So go here. Like from Priest Special. Yes, you can say that. Uh, the other one. Yeah. The other one, it made it a little bit more close. That's very sad, so from here. Right in there. Yeah. And if he tries to show him up his arm, instead of me, to push my shield. Just your spear. And that's it. Uh, I'll spend the. Uh, so this one is really cool because it's 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 kind of naughty yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Viking anyway. Yeah. So basically, take control of the spear, go in here, locks, and if he tries to close the shield, put your knee up behind. And you can also just turn the, the person just by stepping forward. So if you just if you step forward, your sh your shield does this, and that turns the body of the. Can you show it? Yeah. Uh, Mr. So he applies extra pressure to his shield simply by putting his knee on. So he he can't really turn me alone with the hand, but he can if he just levers his uh, body. Let me show. So from here, and I step in here, and simply because I put, I show it from the other side but afterwards, simply because I push with my knee, his shield flips out, and I can just flush down. Uh, just like so from here, I face this out, and I move in, and if he has his shield not close to his body, but extending it slightly, and I just put my knee low. So from here, I put my knee low, and that flips the shield forward, giving me access. So, that's it. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, you wanted to show it from the other side too. Thank you very much. 